Shalom, and soon to be Shabbat Shalom, Rastafari greetings. I think we're going to do a series, if not a series in that sense. Okay, hey, what, is it? what happened? Okay, let's turn the light off right here and turn the phone on. Okay, here we go right here. Let's do this. Okay, um, this week, right, in the persecution, the Ethiopia Black Israel persecution that's going on, right? Because they're not going to talk about it, but he who feels it knows it. We did a little search right here, and you can see the search right here is this week, Ethiopia, Israel, or Ethiopia, Black Israel. You do know that Kush, Kushi is the N-word in the Middle East. Like they say, the N-word over here is nigger. Well, over in the Middle East, among our brothers and sisters, right, scattered over there in that region, the word Kushi, and they treat them like niggers over there. Some might think, you know, because some people want to believe a dream and believe a lie, but you know, the facts, right? The signs and more signs. So let's look at some of the top uh, videos right here. We have Ethiopians in Israel, right? Refuse to allow. Okay, let's turn it like this so we can get it a little bit fuller. Okay, here we go. Um, Ethiopians in Israel refuse to allow Wayani ambassador to speak. Okay, that's one right there. All right, then we have Ethiopia Keystone. Just look at some of the recent reports. Look at this one. This is interesting. Elias, uh, king of Ethiopia and Israel, has one view. We need to check that one out. Because, you know, Elias, Eli Elijah in Hebrew, if you look at it in Ge'ez, is Hila, like Eliah, Eliah, E-L-I-A-H, in mirror image. I remember it says, are ye not as the children of Ethiopia to me or children of Israel? So there's a connection there. But those who have a worldly, um, who believe uh, the Jews who call themselves Jews are not the synagogue of Satan, they don't receive that divine word right there. But look at right here. Here's another article or another link, right? And there's articles out there. Israeli police attacks Ethiopian soldier. Wow. Israeli police attacks Ethiopian soldier. Okay, a uh, protester in Israel or protest in Israel against police brutality. You see at home and abroad, Amos 9 and 7, are ye not as the children of the, uh, the children of the Ethiopian or the Neo children of Israel? Right? Not just that that's racial link with black people, Ethiopia, black Israel. But prophetical link, um, ancestral link, um, historical link, um, what you thinking? You thinking what the synagogue of Satan wants you to think? Let's look at, look at this one right here. Interesting one. Vanessa Taylor. Israel deported them. ISIS cut off their heads. Speaking about the Ethiopian, um, the Ethiopians beheaded in Libya. Right. So um, some even allege that maybe some of those so-called ISIS people, you know, uh, IS Israeli. So you know, it's, it's part of Israeli kind of thing. But anyway, check out this video. Israel deported them. Then ISIS cut off their heads. Right. Like a sacrifice. Right. A sacrifice to Satan. Right. Now, that's that's one of when I was right there. I safari sabbatical. Let's move forward right here. Interviews with families of Ethiopians killed by ISIS. All right, interviews with some of the families right there. Um, so this is a real thing. Some are trying to say, oh, this is not real. All right, this is Ethiopia, black Israel. All right, is real. All right, Yemen, Iranian supported, led, um, who these chant deaf to U.S. A death to Israel end times update. So there's a article there. You two seek truth. Um, there are two, I three Eritrean asylum seekers who left Israel executed by ISIS. All right. So ones who were so called seeking asylum in Israel. Um, the state of Israel were handed over to the ISIS so called Islamic, um, 
Yeah, to the Islamic nephilim. All right, the Dajjal, the, the Dajjal, all right, these antichrists. So we just look at some of the the articles that come under um, Ethiopia and Israel. We need to actually focus on this because we need to cover this news. They're not going to cover this news, right? And this news uh, is also very much in in resonance with the prophecy. And even many of the careless Ethiopians need to really see and know that. Because many of them would not, you know, listen to the Rastaman chant and thought we were crazy and they went and did the things their own way. Now we see that prophecy is really bringing things together, right? Um, okay, so if cops beat Ethiopian IDF soldier in alleged racial attack, no, we know that the synagogue of Satan is racist because they're counterfeit and they're being exposed more and more, right? And more and more of the real um um inheritors of the land are coming for their land. You know, and this is what Yeshua even said, the Moshiach, right? When the ear, they say, Oh, this is the ear. Right? And what they do with the ear, they they seek to kill the ear so that them as the thieves can take over the inheritance of the rightful ear. Right? Um, and this is another article that, or another vid right here, where we point out that ISIS is, a, is, is targeting Holy La Labella. But then we can also say that the synagogue of Satan is targeting the Ark of the Covenant under their false disguise. By three more Ethiopians who were killed by ISIS is identified, right? Um, morning week for Ethiopians. Uh, secretly recorded TPLF meetings following the massacre of Ethiopians in Libya. Right? And as you go on and on, there's other articles right here as well. Some of them might not be recent, but might have been previous. All right. So we just want to touch on, um, the news, right? Ethiopia Black Israel news. Popular Negus and Line of Judah videos. All right. I mean, yeah. See, because they see, the liars and the thieves, see Ethiopia, black Israel rising up, right? And it says that they will come out in great rage against the woman, that Ethiopia woman, Ethiopia Israel woman of prophecy. Right? Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? So we can see that the counterfeit, that the, that the Jews who call themselves Jews, the synagogue of Satan, you know, is nothing like the Ethiopians. In fact, most of them, especially their rulers, right, their false rulers, don't like the Ethiopians, but they only have used the Ethiopians to be their niggers, and they call them Kushi, right? And Kushi is in the way of saying nigger. But then we should have known that already from Amos 9 and 7. Are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? So this is another update. Oh, this will be a first update. This is another update, but perhaps this can be a first update in um, um, some news, Ethiopia, Black Israel persecution news, right? Um, Let's watch and pray that we be found worthy to stand before the Son of Man. It's later than you think. Repent. Shalom Rastafari.